After 28 races with nearly 280 horses competing over two trial days, only the horses with the nine fastest times remain for Quarter Horse Racing's richest prize, the All-American Futurity. Exquisite Stride rattled off the fastest clocking in the second of 14 trials on day two. 12 races later, his time still remained at the top of the list. To stay in from early all the way through the day that like that, you know, it showed that, you know, he's a really, really fast horse. His poor break from the gates made his effort all the more impressive. They're running. Exquisite stride, didn't get away the greatest. If I can get him to leave a little bit better, we might have a big shot at the big race. Exquisite stride is now coming on powerfully. Exquisite stride's the new leader. Gay and Miracle was a runner-up to Kiss My Hawks in the Riodoso Futurity in June. Eighth in the Rainbow Futurity with the Trouble Trip, he rebounded in style with a convincing victory in his All-American trial. J.M. Miracle in front. J.M. Miracle going to beat Visual Magic and Girl on the go. Along with J.M. Miracle, Bodacious Eagle is the only other horse to qualify to all three legs of the Triple Crown this year. He got up narrowly to win his trial by a short nose and is one of two finalists for trainer Blaine Wood. And at the rail, BP first class, Bodacious Eagle mad about the moon. Thunderball B ran well in his first two starts, but improved dramatically in his first start going a quarter of a mile. It has the confirmation to run 440 yards. So we were kind of looking and hoping for a big race out of him in the All-American trial. To the far side, here comes Thunderball B, then Vitali at the rail, CC Kachini Eagle. It's Thunderball B to beat Moonstruck Love. A political blood gave trainer Juan Alleman his very first qualifier to the All-American Futurity. Fifth in the grade one Ed Burke Million Futurity at Los Alamitos, he shipped in from Southern California and captured his trial by over two lengths at the wire. Oh, it was very impressive, uh, you know, especially falling, coming out of the gate. He stumbled a little bad, got up, and uh, finished very strong. They're running. Stumbling a little at the start, a political blood, but still came away fast. Because usually when they stumble that way, it takes them a while to recover, and he recovered right away. So that was pretty impressive in itself. So uh, he's athletic. He's not a big horse. So, uh, you know, it's uh, easier for him to make a little mistake like he did and get back up from it. So. And Tempting Destiny is co-owned by Mark Allen and Leonard Block, who also campaigned 2009 All-American finalist Winners Cartel and shocked the world at 50 to 1 in the Kentucky Derby that same year. My left bird has won the Kentucky Derby. Tempting Destiny has flash potential all season long and could be improving at just the right time. In the All-American trials, that is the closest that he's came to running a complete race. So. Uh, you know, hopefully there's a little improvement, you know, left there, and we'll uh, we'll just kind of hope for the best. And that's the TVG inside track for the $2.6 million All-American Futurity.